Hello everyone. You're welcome to FUCO Mathematics. Here we have this problem to deal with. We have x to the power of 3 plus 2x to the power of 2 plus 2x plus 1 equals 0. Now we want to solve this problem completely. Okay, and to start with, what if I change the position? Okay, I write x to the power of 3, then plus 1, plus 2x squared, plus 2x, now equal to 0. What I did is to bring this one to this. Okay, so if I want to continue, what if I have x to the power of 3, plus 1 to the power of 3, then plus 2x squared plus 2x equals 0. Now, if I group this and group this, does it change the equation? The answer is no. Then this 1 to the power of 3 is the same as 1. Now, here we apply difference of, um, okay, this is addition of two cubes. So if you have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, this will be a okay so we have a minus okay it's going to be a plus b so we have a plus b right then into a squared minus a b plus b squared okay so this is what we have if you have difference of two cubes so because of that in place of this now I'm going to write this, okay, so our x is a, or our a is x now, and our b is 1, so here we have a, which is now x, write x plus 1 in the first bracket, then here we have x squared minus a b, the a b there will be x times 1, that is x, then plus b, that will be um, 1 squared, and it is 1 then plus we go over there we write um, 2x squared plus 2x now this is equal to 0 now our target now will be to pick out you know common terms from this and this so write x plus 1 close this then here we have x squared minus x plus 1 then plus 2x is common to this, so I'll write 2x out. Here we have 1x plus 2x divided by 2x is 1. This is equal to 0. Now there's a common factor of x plus 1. So it comes out as the common factor. Then here we have um, x squared minus x plus 1. Right? Then this is already out so i'll have to add 2x on that side okay so everything is now equal to zero this and this came out this is this okay and then um this right here is this if you like you can separate this right now what do we do let's continue so we have x plus 1 then into this will now be x squared then minus x plus 2x will give us minus x okay I think it's plus x minus x plus 2x is plus x then we have plus 1 everything is equal to 0 sorry I wrote out of sight now we have two terms to multiply in order to get the 0 so it means that it's either x plus 1 equals 0 or x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. So our x is equal to 0 minus 1 or x is equal to minus 1. So this is a solution to the equation. But since we have to solve it completely, I'm going over to pick this equation x squared plus x plus 1 
equals zero. Okay, what we need to do now is to get our equation, I mean the formula. Okay, quadratic general formula is minus b, x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, our x is equal to, now this minus b, the value of b is 1, that is the coefficient of x. As a matter of fact, our ABC will be 1, 1, 1. So, anyway, we see ABC, we're going to enter 1 there. So, here we have minus 1, plus or minus. Then we have B squared, that will be 1 squared. Then minus 4 times 1 times 1, because A is 1 and C is also 1. So, now we divide this by 2 times 1, because A is still 1 okay now our x from here is equal to minus 1 plus or minus then we have square root of 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times 1 times 1 is 4 so this is divided by 2 now to continue our x is equal to okay look at something 1 here is a perfect square 4 is a perfect square but you cannot find the square root of two of them separately. So you have to subtract. We have minus one plus or minus square root of negative three. Then we divide by two. We cannot get square root of negative three. So we can better write it as x equals negative one plus or minus square root of three multiplied by square root of negative one. Think it's better that way so that this multiplied by this will give us square root of negative one then we divide by two okay so let me continue from here so our x will now be minus one plus okay plus or minus root three times square root of negative one over two so if we continue then x will be minus one plus or minus this square root of negative 1 is i so i times root 3 is i root 3 then we divide by 2 if i go ahead then my x will be equal to minus 1 plus i root 3 over 2 or we have um, minus 1 minus i root 3 over 2. So at this we have solved the equation completely. Remember these two right here are not real solutions. The only real solution is x equals negative 1. Thank you for watching.